KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and welcome to another threat of severe storms. Now they didn't materialize thankfully this weekend. Tomorrow a little bit better ingredients in place, especially for northern portions of Acadiana into central Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama. Unfortunately, more rough weather on the way there. So here's the big picture. The next uh, troublemaker we will call it out in northern New Mexico. This one has been riding out of the Rockies and it's going to scoot pretty quickly. Short wavelength system, which sometimes translates to some powerful tornadoes, hopefully not here, but there may be a few going into Mississippi and Alabama late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Now this afternoon, the last upper level system, the one that we dealt with this weekend, still producing the threat of severe storms across the deep south through the Carolinas and then back to the north, a strong to severe storms. You can tell it's spring and here comes the next weather system out here that's producing those strong to severe storms. Severe thunderstorm watches Mississippi on eastward, not the concern of ours, but we'll be watching in this activity back to the west. Severe thunderstorm watches. Couple of warnings going south of uh, Lubbock and severe thunderstorm warnings gone going north and west of Dallas. They're looking for the threat of golf ball to baseball size hail on top of that tornado watch. That's an effect through this evening. So we'll be watching our storm, those storms up there for our friends to the north and west. Now as we move to tomorrow, the severe storm threat, a good chunk of Louisiana from Senla on northeastward. Uh, again, storms that could produce damaging winds, hail and isolation tornadoes and if we zoom in on into Acadiana that enhanced risk includes St. Landry, Evangel, Allen parishes on northward. So this is the zone that, that we'll be watching and just like many of the severe weather threats that we see during the course of the year, we're in the zone where things could get going and if they do get going and we get a little sunshine and we have those dew points in the mid 70s, we could see some strong to severe storms, especially northern portions of Acadiana. So be weather aware for tomorrow. We showed you the high resolution rapid refresh model. This is the latest graph model just came in. Mostly cloudy, warm and humid tonight. Temperatures and dew points holding in the mid 70s. So uh, feeling like summer out there. At least we'll have a little bit of a breeze tomorrow. Mostly cloudy day, maybe a few sprinkles. Then you see storms exploding early tomorrow afternoon. But again, the main thrust is going to be over toward eastern uh, eastern Louisiana, southwestern Mississippi. You can see those storms much stronger there. We'll get showers and storms pushing on through, but debatable on whether they're going to be severe. I tend quarter on southward, but this time of year you got to watch each and every severe weather threat because they could go either way. Should quiet down tomorrow evening. Might see some lingering showers and storms into the coastal parishes through Wednesday, uh, but most of us looking good Wednesday and beyond and a very nice looking weather pattern toward the end of the week. As for looking at some of the severe weather parameters, we're looking at helicity here, which is that tornado spin potential and what we're looking for areas of magenta or purple showing up and we see that this is 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we see where that uh, greatest uh, spin risk is. That's given if there are storms at this location. And then that risk actually amplifies a little bit through the noon hour and then pushes off to the east. But notice that gave us a little hot spot over towards southwest Mississippi. That's where probably the greatest risk of severe weather will be tomorrow afternoon. Fortunately, storms moving quickly. The latest graph model just giving us a touch of a little rainfall should be a little bit heavier off to the east. But we'll see how this plays out. I think we're going to see uh, at least the storms moving fast enough that we're not going to have a flooding issue and that is the good news. So warm and humid tonight, mostly cloudy, breezy temperatures holding in the mid 70s. That's just like June or July. 86 the high tomorrow. Good chance of storms, some possibly severe, mainly in the afternoon hours. Prime time I'm thinking is going to be between about 2 p.m. and about 7 p.m. So tomorrow afternoon, early evening, prime time. Gusty southerly winds will know that something's up. And as we move down the road, still maybe a slight chance of a shower or storm. Coastal parishes Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday look fantastic with highs in the lower 80s, comfortable humidity. And look at this. Overnight lows could dip down as low as the upper 50s to lower 60s for a couple of nights prior to the weekend.